Well, it's that time of year when ice fishing is starting to slow down a little bit and anglers are having to work a little bit harder. Jason Matady is here from MatadysGetFishing.com practicing some technique yes, this morning. Well, the fish we're going to talk about, this is what you do. But anyway, I'm jumping ahead of the game. We <laughs> want to talk about the first ever free ice fishing weekend. What does that mean for anglers in Saskatchewan? Well, you know, they've been doing it for a number of years in the summertime. And what it is, is it's a weekend where you can go out, you don't need a license, so it's a great time to introduce people to the sport of angling. Uh, but you do have to follow the regulations there. There are rules, there are laws. So you have to make sure you go online to the Sask Environment uh, website uh, and really make sure, I think we'll pop the address up here right away here, but it's really critical. You do that, obviously, because the last thing you want to do is do something illegal and ruin your free fishing day. Or maybe but, your first experience. Or your first experience, for yeah. sure. And uh, you want to just make sure you know the, the, the size limits. Um, different bodies of water have different regulations, so that's really, really important. Uh, but it's really cool that the province has decided to do this. Uh, as you know, I'm a great promoter of the sport, <laughs> and it's a great thing to do on our really, really long winters when you need to want to go out and try it. You're working a little bit harder to get those fish right now. You're showing us a little bit of technique. What kind of fish are we after right okay, now? Well, what you're seeing right now is the burbot. They're uh, ling cod, or, or basically freshwater cod. They're the only species we have in North America. Remember the highliner box, those fish sticks you had? I recall. Cod? Yep. Well, this is basically the same thing. This is just fresh water. You know how good those taste? I remember. These guys are delicious. They're not pretty. They have a face only a mama could love, really. But they bite like crazy at this time of year for a couple of reasons. Uh, what are we using to catch them and why? Well. The big thing is right now, uh, they're one of the few fish that spawn under the ice in the wintertime. Okay. And uh, so the ones that are spawning, they're making more bourbon. That's their goal. But others uh, of their species are kind of caretakers of the flat in the spawning area. They're getting rid of all other fish, any threat to their eggs. Right. So those fish bite these, or they grab them and they get rid of them. We've actually had them grab it, shake it, and go, oh, you're dead? You're no harm to our eggs, and they'll throw it. But the big thing is, Drop it, lift it, drop it, lift it. Use big shiny lures. I got lots of examples down here, you know, where you've got, uh, this is a jigging rappella here, or, or a rappella. Uh, different sizes of spoons uh, from your standard Len Thompson that we everybody's got back in their to tackle yep. box. And uh, you've also got this real bait uh, plain Jane jig, and of course my personal favorite, the biggest one you can find most of the time, three quarter ounce flasher jig. And the idea is pound it into the bottom, lift and pound, lift and pound. And this little blade right here is absolutely critical, you know, because it gets the flash going. And the weight of that jig, it just goes thump, thump, thump all the time in the bottom. And that's why it's super critical that uh, you're making a ton of noise. You, you're not about being stealth here, which right. is what's so cool about it, because lots of times when you're fishing, it is you about, be quiet. you know, being quiet. What about location? You're looking for areas that have, like, where the shoreline is quite a ways away from you, like a big, long, shallow flat. I'm talking seven, eight feet of water, but immediately adjacent to a drop-off, where it maybe drops to 30, 40 feet, because those fish like coming up and down, up and down the drop-off. And it's really cool. Like, once you get them coming in on that noise and pounding the bottom and stirring the sand and the silt up, often you'll get numbers. Like, drop it, set it put it back down, drop it, set it. But the thing to remember is you're dropping, lifting, dropping, lifting. On the lift, they'll be there, you know, because they'll often hit it and pin it to the bottom on the drop. Right. So you got to be ready to set that hook, like boom, you know, and make sure uh, you get them on the upswing. Free fishing weekend, the first of its kind here in the winter in Saskatchewan. If anybody wants more information on that or what you guys do at Matadies Get Fishing, where do they get it? Well, you can go to matadiesgetfishing.com, uh, go to the government website for Free Fishing Weekend. And we also have more on Burbit and Free Fishing Weekend. Two seminars in Saskatchewan this weekend. Uh, Cabela's in Saskatoon, 1 o'clock on Saturday. Cabela's in Regina, 1 o'clock on Sunday. So more information than you can handle, probably. There, if you didn't learn enough here, learn enough there. That's uh, Jason Matady. Thanks for being here. Thank you.